It seemed like the possibilities in the early 1970s were endless. And Arcosanti, as an example of how humans could live on the planet in harmony with each other and with the millions of other species, that also seemed like a really wonderful possibility. His uh, architectural career, Paolo Soleri, who founded this place, Arcosanti, invented the term arcology, architecture and ecology, as two parts of a whole single entity. When people come to Arcosanti right now, it's pretty easy to see how the buildings that we've built so far relate to the surrounding ecology. They look in color and form pretty much like the surroundings. This really fantastic natural landscape of central Arizona. And yet, Soleri had something a little more complex in mind. With compactness, with three-dimensionality, instead of spreading out only one story tall, as so many American cities do, being contained and building up would create a social milieu that it would be a really complex and wonderful human ecology. The experiment itself is how people are going to live together and how much fun that's going to be. And it's been an interesting trip to get here. It's like a miracle in a way, although it isn't. It took 7,000 people over the past 46 years participating in the construction workshops to build the buildings that are here. People from all over the world were coming out to participate in the building of this entirely new thing. The experience of the workshoppers is not only learning about construction, but experiencing how communities are formed physically and, uh, and take that back to their own communities and begin to transform them as well. One of Paolo Soleri's great attributes was his ability to make something out of nothing. We use the earth itself here as concrete molds. Piles of earth were piled up, packed down, carved into, made into wonderful plastic forms. Concrete was poured directly on top of the earth. And then the earth was taken away and the building form is what remained. We're being elegant about how we use materials and, um, and the amount of materials that we use to have a rich life without really being rich, without having to consume so much stuff. As you've seen so far, Arcosanti is a continuing project and we're always asking the question, what's next? Cities are the newest form of life on the planet. They're only seven to 10,000 years old, just haven't had the chance to be designed properly. And by properly, we mean the way all other organic life is designed in containers. Part of that learning is how to make cities that make sense. And we think some of those ideas are coming from Arcosanti now.